What's going on, YouTube? Brian here, talking about my G tablet by ViewSonic. My G tablet. Now, I went out here, and I got myself a custom stand. I know a lot of these iPad fanboys, they're buying this little stand that clickety-clacks with the magnets. Oh, it's a cover. Oh, I can fold it and make it a, a stand. Ooh, wow. Let me tell you what I do. I go and I find laminated plastic with foam. And I go ahead and I cut that. And I make my own stand. Cause I don't need, oh, whoa! Whoa, what's this? Is this a, is this a G tablet running honeycomb? Are you kidding me? You can get a G tablet today for $279. I bet you can get it even cheaper than that, brand new. 16 gig internal uh, storage. Talking about all your USBs. You got a full USB right here. Check this out. Oh, yeah, with an SD slot for expansion. Yeah, full USB. Bam. SD slot. Whoa. Window. Bing. Bing, bing. Put it back in there. Anyways. So we're running with honeycomb now. And the ViewSonic G tablet was never supposed to have honeycomb. It's got the stats, it's got the specs, dual core, Nvidia, Tegra 2, 512 mega RAM, the 16 gig internal storage, and you got the 32 gig expandable memory slot. I'm telling you. The hardware always supported Honeycomb, but ViewSonic, lazy bastards, decided, eh, we're not going to support you guys anymore. Even though thousands of people, thousands of people bought these tablets. They decided, yeah, you know, tablet's almost a year old now. Well, we're not going to do anything about it. I think even at three months old, they really weren't doing anything about it. We had developers, okay? Now, I'm going to launch over here, and I'm going to um, go to XDA developers. I'm using the Opera browser because I think that right now this is the best on Honeycomb. It's got uh, Flash enabled uh, right out the box, hardware acceleration. But right now I'm using for bootloader 1.1, GTA Cone Beta 3.0. It was just updated today, 7-10-2011, by Zahong. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Z-H-Z-Y-H-O-N-G. But I'll tell you what this guy is doing. And what guys like Rebert doing and uh, Linux Box Solutions, uh, Pershot, Clemson. These guys have made this tablet. Without these developers... Without the XDA community, I wouldn't have bought this tablet. And I bought it back when it was 365 I only paid 265 for it. I got a deal. You know what I mean? But these things were selling for uh, $399. And, th I mean, it's just crazy good with Honeycomb. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to post the link in the YouTube video. This thing's overclocked to 1.4 right off the bat because it's using... Uh, per shots kernel but the new beta now the new beta and I don't know I don't know if you guys can see this let me see if I can turn down the balance I haven't made a YouTube video in a long time so I don't know what the heck I'm doing I could be screwing up this thing but what they're using is the notion ink atom honeycomb no notion ink went out and started developing for their tablets uh, Honeycomb, and it just so happens that the same company that was dealing with the bootloader for the ViewSonic G-Tab was handling their bootloader too, and from what I understand, you can put one on the other with a couple modifications. So what they have now is what they're calling Atom Comb, which is for the Notion Ink Atom, Honeycomb, and they've modified it and fixed it to work almost flawlessly on the G tablet. And I think ViewSonic should be writing checks out to these guys, 10,000 out of pot, because they have sold 
thousands of tablets just because of the development that's going on over XDA. I have no doubt that the only reason why they're selling tablets even now after what is November, so we're talking seven months this tablet's been on the market, give or take, was because of the development team. We wouldn't have had Honeycomb if it wasn't for XDA and the developers. Now take a look at this guy. This guy is Beckett Bear. And just like Josh Beckett of the Boston Red Sox, this tablet with Honeycomb is an all-star. I mean, it was a good player when it had Froyo. But now that it's got Honeycomb, I mean, look at this. Bam! Look at this. Look at, look at the Honeycomb. Look at these little buttons. Look at that. True multitasking. It's like, it's just like Windows almost, you know? I mean, you've got your, your search bars, you got your widgets, you know? Um, uh, got your app drawer up here. Bam! Look at that. Look at the speed of that. That's freaking sick. $279 this thing's selling for online now. Are you kidding me? I mean, check this out. Set CPU. Look at that. 1.4. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. 1.4. Just overclocked it. It's already got overclocking built in. It's already got CIFS, which is... Uh, you're going to be able to uh, stream your music. It's already got that loaded. Check this out. Bam. Let me mount that drive. I mounted it. Let's go to Mubu Player. Mubu. Mubu. Mubu Bear. Let me go to my directory here. Where I've got all my, uh, my paid for movies, of course. Check this out. Battle Los Angeles. Battle Los Angeles. See how this thing streams. Look at that crazy hair. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Bam! Bam! Streaming! Alright, I thought that thing was all messed up for a minute because the guy was speaking sound like Italian or something. So that's it, man. I mean, this thing's right out the bat. This is Honeycomb. This is his 3.0 beta. And it's it's running Honeycomb. Look at this thing. Honeycomb's the freaking bomb diggity. It's freaking gorgeous. I mean, Angry Birds has never looked so good. I'm just... Uh, look at Blue Skies. Coming my way. With the G-Tab. Oh! Oh, let me turn down that. Nope. Nope. Angry Birds. So that's one thing that Apple will never have. I didn't even mean to do that. And look how good I am. I didn't even mean to do that. I was too busy. I was playing with the volume when I did that. What I get? What I get here? Well, whatever. I mean, I ain't bad for just messing around. But I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I don't think the G tablets ever look so good than with Honeycomb. So, the cool thing about Honeycomb, I think, real real quickly, is down here, you got your menu. And you've got all your brightness features. you got your airplane mode. Go ahead and adjust your screen. Um, I think that's the coolest, one of the coolest parts about this whole, whole deal. Right down here. So all you gotta do is you click it, click it again, it expands, you got your settings, you got your volume, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, lock your screen, uh, notifications, uh, you click that for settings, now you're in your Android settings. It's a game changer. And this is why I think people at Apple are, are so worried, because Android's got such a vibrant, thriving uh, development community outside of Apple. I mean, you got people coming up with all kinds of ideas. And uh, Apple just doesn't get it. They just don't get it. Would you rather pay $600 for an iPad or $279 for a G tablet that's just as good? And with Honeycomb, I'd argue it's even better. I'd tell you right now, I would pick this tablet over an iPad 2 any day. You know why? Because I'm balling.